humans, I am the Black Cat and welcome to Movie Review Monday. Today we take a look at Velvet Buzzsaw. Velvet Buzzsaw is an American movie released in 2019, written and directed by Dan Gilroy, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Renee Russo, I don't know how to pronounce this name, Zyle Ashton, Tony Collette and John Malkovich. Velvet Buzzsaw is based around a group of high-end art dealers and galleries. One night, one of the dealers, Josephina, discovers her neighbour has died. She finds out that all his belongings are to be thrown away. But she knows he has a cat, so she goes looking for his cat and finds out that he was an artist with heaps of artwork in his apartment. His artwork is a high-quality, fine art. So she takes it all, apparently saving it from the trash it was about to become. Her boss finds out about the collection and makes a deal with her that they'll exhibit the paintings and sell them with the promise to make Josephina rich and famous. She agrees to the deal, but the paintings are apparently cursed and they, in a sense, infect all the art around them and start killing them off one by one. The movie centers around art critic Morph starts having a relationship with Josephina. This causes him some issues because he feels he wants to be with her but she seems to be just using him for the most part. Morph starts researching the artist that Josephina discovered with the intention of writing a book about him. Through his research, he starts to realise that something is wrong and tries to intervene. But of course, everyone else is only interested in money and thinks that everyone else is trying to betray and move in, in a way. Something truly goddamn strange is going on! As this is a movie about art and the art world, the visuals are very bright and colourful. One art piece in particular, called The Sphere, is basically a large mirrored ball. So it made for a very interesting visual focus point. There was, in my opinion, a lot of very nice cinematography involved as well. The visual effects worked well for what was intended. They didn't look like they were poorly done or out of place. There wasn't really a point where the CGI was obvious or over the top. I would say that the majority of the deaths included CGI, which normally I would have a problem with, but I think for this movie, to a certain extent, it was necessary. However, there were also a couple of deaths that relied more on the actor's performance to make them effective, and I think they did a pretty good job. There were several shots of the sphere where I was trying to work out where the camera was. I'm guessing they digitally removed the camera because I couldn't see it. Also, not wanting to give away spoilers or anything, but the scene in the street art gallery was also very nice. The paint kind of ran out of the paintings and ran across the floor. I thought that looked pretty cool. Another shot I really liked was when the main art curator was sitting outside her house and the shot sort of became the painting that was in her house. I did enjoy this movie. Like I said, visually it was very intriguing. However, the movie did seem to move rather slowly. It seemed to take a long time to get to the point, even though it took the standard amount of time. I just felt like there were sequences that dragged on too long. I did like the concept, even though it has been done before. I feel like this movie was kind of a commentary on creativity versus corporate greed. As a creative, how much of yourself are you willing to sell out? Is making money and being famous more important than the desire to create? I found this aspect of the movie very interesting. It's important to note that the artists who chose artistic and creative integrity over monetary gain survived and the ones that didn't care about the art and put more value on money ended up being killed. So I guess, overall, I quite liked this movie. It wasn't over the top with gore, but it was more like a classic 70s horror in a way. It made you think more than just shoving a gross out factor in your face. So, would I watch this movie again? Yeah, I think I would be fine with watching this again. But anyway, that's all for Movie Review Monday for this week. Let me know what you think of this movie, if you've seen it, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!